Over the past year, you've probably noticed a massive shortage of cars on Ford dealership lots and insanely high prices with crazy markups. If you're tired of these markups, then I actually have some really good news for you because it looks like a lot of this is about to change. And it looks like we might be seeing a huge drop in Ford truck and SUV prices really soon. And more specifically, the F-150 Lightning, Ford Bronco, and the little baby Maverick. Car dealerships are quickly becoming very anti-consumer and you don't have to look hard to find out why dealers are asking insane markups and deposits on their trucks and SUVs. Drive by any Ford dealership and you'll see that 80% of the lot is practically empty. The shortage of new and used vehicles over the past year has been a really huge cause of these insane prices. Used cars saw a gain of over 30% and new cars over 11% on average. However, many dealerships have been taking advantage of this market shortage by adding insane markups listed on the windows as market adjustments. While a lot of hot new vehicles get marked up when they're first released, dealers today are taking it way too far and Ford corporate is finally putting them on notice. These dealers are basically being told by Ford corporate to essentially stop the madness or they're going to get zero allocations for their popular vehicles. They not only got a warning from Ford about F-150 Lightning price gouging, but it actually looks like they might have screwed themselves when it comes to markups on the new Ford Bronco. And they're about to lose a ton of money, which is good for you as a consumer. Now let's talk about this letter Ford sent to dealers and then I'll explain why the new Ford Bronco prices are about to come down because dealers just got beat at their own game and it gets really interesting. Ford is really hoping to head off a big potential issue that's endemic to hotly anticipated new car debuts. Dealers are actually being warned by Ford against asking for any additional deposit or other pre-sale payment. And don't worry, Ford has actually thought about the flippers as well. This warning memo to Ford dealers is more of a way to protect the brand from negative reviews from customers after much of the debacle from the new Ford Bronco sales. And Ford has one tool at their disposal to slow down or put a stop to these dealer shenanigans. Under paragraph six on the dealer franchise agreement, it says the following. The dealer shall conduct dealership operations in a manner that will reflect favorably at all times the reputation of the dealer. This includes the provision that the dealer shall avoid in every way any bait, deceptive, misleading, confusing, or illegal advertising or business practices. Any dealer caught doing this by Ford will have their allocation of F-150 Lightnings redirected for the entirety of the 2022 model year. Now, while we're probably going to have to deal with markups a little bit, especially in the Lightning, it looks like it's starting to slow down for the Bronco and a lot of people people are starting to really get MSRP and dealers are actually shooting themselves in the foot specifically on the Ford Bronco when it comes to the initial launch edition. And let me explain. I found a really interesting article on this Ford Bronco forum, bronco6g.com. And this is insight from someone who's really familiar with dealer auction pricing and things like that. It says the first edition Bronco will go down in US history as the first American vehicle to beat them at their own game. Dealers who bought and overpaid for these first edition Broncos are about to lose a ton of money because nobody is going to pay what they're currently asking. First editions are going for like 100 grand or more. I found a Bronco, a 2021 Sasquatch for 97,500. I found a two door first edition for 86,997 on eBay. Another four door with like looks like a little bit of a lift and a winch and a couple like wheel and tire mods for $112,000. And then the final nail in the coffin on this first edition markup insanity, a 2021 yellow first edition for $131,500. And there's been post after post of four just pumping out these Broncos like crazy and looks like thousands in pictures lined up waiting to be delivered to customers. So with all these other ones being delivered, there's no way dealers are going to get what they're asking and what they even have in these first edition Broncos. So diving into a little bit more of this info and why Bronco prices are coming down, here's something really interesting and I'm reading it directly from this article. The dealers screwed people with deposits, ordered cars and friends names and all their normal shenanigans. They're trying to charge over sticker premiums and they're buying over sticker at the auction for first edition Broncos. But guess what? The consumers are flipping them the bird and they are not playing into it, which is great. So when it comes to auctions, a dealer clearly wants to sell for way above what they paid for it. And they paid so much for these at the auction that they're really getting their butts handed to them. The average sale price of a first edition was seventy-five to eighty-seven thousand dollars when they first hit the streets. There are now two hundred and forty-five Broncos on the dealer-to-dealer -dealer website that they try to horse trade with one another 
or they eventually run them down the lane to be sold at auction. However, the asking price of the dealer to dealer interactions is not only lower than the price they paid, but they're also offering a make offer in addition to sell at a loss. Americans are fighting back they're not paying these ridiculous markups, especially for these first editions, and the prices are gonna come down, and these dealers are gonna lose so much money on these first editions that hopefully they really stop this kind of crap. If dealers keep losing money on these marked up Broncos, then it will eventually just stop. And in the end, this is all good news for the consumer. It looks like Ford Corporate is finally trying to get rid of these anti-consumer practices that all the dealers have been accustomed to and really have been running rampant the past couple of years specifically. So as more and more of these cars start to come back on dealership lots, and then you're going to the dealer again and they're gonna have a little bit more inventory. It's gonna be a lot more consumer friendly as time moves on. And hopefully by summer, you'll be able to go back to a lot get the car you want and not have to pay a dealership markup. What do you think in the comments below? Do you think these dealerships are really gonna have their butts handed to them when it comes to price gouging? Or do you think this is gonna continue and they're gonna find some other way around it?